welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the relationship between Pisces and Libra. So these guys have a very, very um, poor compatibility. Um, in an intimacy level, I give them about 29% of the time they're going to work. I'm, I'm being really generous, even saying that much. Reason being is the only strong suit that these guys have is the fact that Venus is represented by Libra and Venus gets exalted in Pisces. So their idea of like sex and love is pretty um, concise. Like they, they really can get along in that sort of way if Pisces can come out of their shy and withdrawn habits and Libra is able to really accept the Pisces or take them seriously, which is a whole other topic in itself. If they can get past those obstacles, then Venus works for them and they can have a great sexual compatibility. Um, where the issues start though with these guys is through trust first. Trust wise, you have a cardinal sign with a mutual sign. To make matters worse, you have an air with water. So what happens here is Pisces is looking for emotional depth and people that follow their hearts. They like spontaneity. They like people that are really um, relying on their emotional side to make decisions. Whereas Libra wants a strong, bold, confident, outgoing partner that's going to make them feel safe and secure. Pisces doesn't always bring that out, especially if they're the shy, withdrawn type. But even if they are the type to be out there saying, I like you, it's in, in Libra's perspective of a two week sort of way. Like they're not strong enough to really maintain them in a relationship and make them feel safe and secure emotionally, financially, whole nine yards. Pisces is more on the spiritual connection side, whereas Libra is on a logical intellectual connection that their partner is going to provide them with a sort of security that they need. So if the Libra is a man, they want somebody that's going to be a nurturer in a sense, but is a logical fit for them, meaning they're, that they're doing stuff that makes them feel like this person is a compliment to my life and I can listen in a logical, tangible way. Whereas Pisces doesn't need to see any of that. All Pisces needs is somebody that they feel like, you know what, when I'm together with this person, I feel happy. And once they are able to feel happy, that's what really matters to them and they'll take care of their own life on a separate occasion. Even if they're scatterbrained, even if they're not really sure what's going on in their life, they're not really putting that sort of pressure on their partner. So this leads to a different set of perspectives. So when it comes to trust, the Libra looks at the Pisces as somebody who's a bit naive and probably too happy half the time. And then if they're sad, they're like, what are you sad about? They just don't really understand where their emotional volatility comes from. And because of that, they just necessarily don't get along. Another thing is when Pisces now sees the Libra as somebody who's like a bit stiff, rigid, uh, very routine, they find that boring and they find it to be something that they're looking at it in a sense of like, why are you acting in this way? And am I not good enough for you? Do I not bring that spark out in you? And once they feel that way, the relationship is pretty much over anyways. Um, these are two people that if they do even end up breaking up, they won't be friends, but they just won't expect much from each other. Like, it's not like it's going to be too personal. The breakup will most likely be mutual, like mutual, excuse me, on both ends. Like, they're both going to say, yeah, this wasn't going to work out. We both kind of knew it type of vibe. So that's another big uh, factor in it. Another thing is, I've discussed this in numerology, Jupiter and Venus aren't necessarily friends. Jupiter is in the Indian um, dialects, like the god of the divas. It's the holy one that's uh, in the... Even in ancient, like the original Pythagorean numerology, it's considered, Jupiter is always considered like the planet of wisdom, planet of, of course, that you're going to be able to expand with and growth. Venus, on the other hand, is considered the planet of the demons in the eastern side of the world. I bring this up because Venus and Jupiter, a lot of people don't realize are in opposition to one another in a lot of different ways. They're very similar, but their planetary energy just simply propels, like it doesn't get along, they repel each other. So when you get these guys around each other, even a Pisces and a Libra, the initial um, spark that's supposed to be there to start romanticism isn't always there. And if it does get there, it's after a whole bunch of obstacles have been overcome. My recommendation is if you guys are in love and you actually both acknowledge that you're in love, move past the issues of perspective. If you're a Libra, do not try to change the Pisces person's view of the world or how they think or how they behave because that's going to be outright disrespect. And it's going to be viewed as something like you're not that they're not good enough for you. That's how the Pisces is going to look at you and say, well, this is done. As a Pisces, try to follow more of your logical mind. If you're with a Libra, bear in mind that you're going to have to have your career in check. You're going to have to have your, your money right, um, where your shelter, your home, vehicle, all those things are going to come into play. A lot of stuff in the material realm that you may not value that much, especially if you're a February born Pisces, is going to matter. For the March born, you guys are a little bit influenced by Aries as well. So you guys already kind of have that natural aggression there. And that'll get you ahead, especially in a career path. 
Uh, but just make sure if you're a Pisces that you're definitely showing the Libra that confidence and that outgoing nature, and they will definitely be attracted to that. That's what they need. Uh, moving on though, for business wise, these guys rarely get together. I'd say about 30% of the time they get together for this. Reason being is Pisces is so interested in following like the arts. They get into like music, dance, um, things to do with like drawing, anything to do with creativity and really something that's going to touch their soul. The Pisces are the optimum of like following your passion and having that calling from like a higher realm, a sixth sense to do something. To a Libra, even in a business thing, that's not going to make any sense. Libra is going to be there. They're going to be into like the home decor, the law, the medical field. Like they're into things that are going to make them a lot of money and make them get that safety and security in their life. Saturn's exalted here. They want a very hard knock disciplinarian view of business and they want everything to be black and white. Whereas with Pisces, everything is gray. Everything's in between. Everything's symbolic and everything has a different meaning. For Libra, the meaning is money. That's the thing. Unless they have a different moon or um, ascendant sign, that's the only way that's going to change in any sort of way. But remember, guys, we're only specifically talking about sun signs here. And when it comes to those sun signs, these guys are not really um, seeing eye to eye in business. If it does work out, just make sure if you're a Libra that the Pisces person is passionate about what they're doing and that they're not going to change their mind. Make sure that they're going to be able to be consistent because you guys don't have a problem with your consistency. And if you're a Pisces, make sure that the Libra person is somebody that's going to be able to work with you and that they'll naturally give their share, but make sure they do not try to control you or look down on you. Make sure that if you're bringing something to the table, you're bringing an innovation of some sort or your artistic expression to the business, whatever your creativity is, make sure that's being acknowledged and respected by the Libra partner. If it's not, it's better to part ways before things actually get ugly. Last but not least, we have the friendship portion of this. Friendship wise, these guys don't really get along that well either. It could work, I'd say maybe 35, 40% if I'm being nice. Um, the only way that's gonna work is if specifically they, it's hard. Because even conversations with these two, they wouldn't really, really like conversate about much. Like the Libra is gonna have a whole mind state of talking about things in a very logical, functional way. And Pisces sort of conversation skills go all over the place. If they get together, it's because of some sort of similar background. Like I say, with a lot of these signs that don't get along, cultural norm, school, work, what have you. But there has to be some sort of foundation there for these guys to get together in the first place. Meeting each other on the road, becoming friends is highly unlikely. If it does happen, just be wary of what I brought up in the business and intimate part of it. Um, you guys won't really have a lot to discuss and the way in which you guys view the world will be different. If you guys do have debates and so forth, Libra be gentle with the Pisces person. They take everything to heart. And Pisces, make sure that if you're gonna to come to Libra with any sort of debate or any sort of conversation like that, make sure that your facts and everything that you're bringing up is actually based on direct correlation that you can cite maybe on the internet or through a book. Make sure you're not just bringing stuff up to them that is just from nowhere, in other words. That's just from your mind. They're gonna view that as a, a pigment of your imagination and not take you seriously, all right? But that should conclude the video, guys. If you guys have any questions whatsoever regarding this video, just please leave it in the comments for me. If you guys disagree with what I'm saying, leave it in the comments. Aside from that, guys, please like, subscribe. Holla, me too for today, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.